Hey everybody and welcome to this video overview of Orchestral Complete version 1.2. For those of you that don't know what Orchestral Complete is, it's a custom made icon pack designed to work within Steinberg's Cubase and Nuendo mixers. This pack contains over 700 individual orchestral icons which cover a wide range of instruments from strings, brass, woodwinds and percussion. Each instrument has its own solo and ensemble variation and now includes the brand new name tag scheme which you can see in these icons here. They've all been designed with third party developers in mind so for those of you that love using VST software for scoring your sessions you'll find that there's some name tag articulations and also some patch versions you may find from your favourite developers included in the, the icon set as well. When you purchase Orchestral Complete you get lifetime free updates so every time I add new stuff in you'll get it for absolutely free which is always a bonus. So moving on swiftly we're going to take a look at what's new. If you already own Orchestral Complete you'll, you'll already notice that the uh, brass section has a vastly increased in size. Uh, the new images available are the full orchestral ensemble, the new brass ensemble icons with the articulations and then there's also some extras as well down here such as the horns and trumpets. As for the percussion it hasn't really changed since version 1 um, the only two new additions to the set are the timpani hits and rolls icons. Apart from that, everything else is pretty much the same. As we move on to the strings, you'll notice these have all changed and uh, look a lot different. We now have the ensemble strings icon. We have also the new name tag articulations for the solo double basses and ensemble double basses, the celli. Um, and moving across here you'll now find that there's a, a brand new icon to cover the patch high strings and also another one here to cover the low strings patches. Uh, the viola hasn't changed much at all really um, apart from having the new name tag articulations and having the ensemble version get rid of the uh, old ghosted variations that we used to use in the images. Another new addition to the um, strings is the first chair violins ensemble icons and the first and second chair ensemble mix as well. Now finally most of you have been waiting for this update for the woodwinds. We now have the ensemble woodwinds. We also have new things like the clarinet and the bassoons. The contra bassoon is a brand new image along with the bass clarinet, the alto flute, the bass flute, and things like the piccolo flutes and the regular flutes have also been remodeled as well to look a lot nicer. You now have the flutes and clarinets icon and you now also have English horns as well as the high woodwinds ensemble icon and the low woodwinds ensemble icon. Other little changes which you may have noticed are to things like the uh, uh, clarinets and the obi where they've just had some slight additions to the image to help you identify them a little bit easier in the mixer. And obviously the colour scheming has also changed uh, for the woodwinds as well, which makes makes life a lot better. So if you work with a large amount of orchestral instruments, you'll often find that your sessions can become quite cluttered and you rely on naming and colouring just to identify things in the mixer. Uh, using these icons it, it makes life a lot easier because not only are, you, are your eyes drawn to them straight away, you can instantly see what the instrument is and you can also see the articulation type. Um, obviously it's always a good idea to colour code things as well as you score and be very meticulous with your naming schemes. Everyone has their own sort of individual uh, style, the, white, the, the way they like to do things, uh, what colours they use and, and what uh, naming scheme they use. But when it comes to mixing it is very handy just to be able to see um, what you're looking for quickly and just crack on doing the tweaks you need or automating that particular part. So the Orchestral Complete Library currently retails at £8.99, uh, so if you buy it now 
you'll receive lifetime free updates. As the pack d evolves and gets even bigger, eventually the prices will go up very slightly, not a considerable amount, but it's just to cover the amount of work which has gone into making these for you. Uh, if you're wondering, this is not the only icon pack which is available. Uh, there's also the Guitar and Basses pack and the Native Synths pack as well, with more to come in the future. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Orchestral Complete. When you download your purchase, you'll get a little zip file which you can extract to your desktop. And inside the file, you'll have a Cubase 9 import CPR template, uh, which is... Uh, there for you to use to import all the icons in effortlessly. Uh, you'll also have these video tutorials to show you how to use that template or create your own. And then you'll have these two zip files as well. Uh, so you'll have the articulations version, so you'll get all the pictures with the name tags on them. And then you'll get uh, this other version where you get all of the icons without the name tags included on them. So for those of you that like working with key switches, you've got the choice, you know, if you want to unzip this or unzip that one. You also get the license agreement and a short readme text just describing a few things you need to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this overview. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, be sure to get in touch uh, via the website or email me directly at ukpoundsound at gmail.co.com. <laughs> .com. .co. I couldn't even remember for a second then. Oh well, you get the idea. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.